sure you remember that Muslim influencer couple from UAE that would post corny videos of Khalid acting like a simp to his wife Salama, who allegedly divorced earlier this year. It's now come out that he's marrying a Hindu. He has been traveling all across India, disproportionately overly enthusiastic to random strange places to experience Hindu culture. But this, this is just excellent. You really could have married any Muslim you wanted or any woman of the book, but you chose to marry a Hindu film star. Welcome back to Islamgram Official where we discuss important topics through the lens of Islam. Today, we have a sensitive but necessary topic to discuss. Recently, social media has been abuzz with the news of the divorce between popular influencers Khalid and Salama and Khalid's subsequent engagement to a Hindu actress. Let's delve into this topic with the guidance of our faith. The news of Khalid and Salama's divorce has certainly stirred emotions and sparked conversations online. As Muslims, it's crucial for us to approach such situations with wisdom, compassion, and a firm understanding of our faith. Khalid and Salama have been well-known figures in the social media world, sharing their lives and inspiring many with their content. Their separation has come as a shock to their fans. But what has raised even more eyebrows is Khalid's engagement to a Hindu Tamil actress shortly after the divorce. First and foremost, divorce, while permissible in Islam, is always the last resort. It is allowed when there are irreconcilable differences, but it is not encouraged. The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, said, Of all the lawful acts, the most detestable to Allah is divorce. Sunan Ibn Majah, 2018 Islam recognizes that sometimes, despite best efforts, a marriage may not work out. When divorce happens, it should be handled with kindness, dignity, and respect, ensuring the rights of both parties are maintained. Now let's address the engagement of Khalid to a Hindu actress. According to Islamic teachings, a Muslim man is permitted to marry a woman from the people of the book, specifically Jews and Christians. However, this permission comes with certain conditions and responsibilities. In Surah Al-Ma'ida, verse 5, Allah says, This day all good foods have been made lawful, and the food of those who were given the scripture is lawful for you, and your food is lawful for them. And lawful in marriage are chaste women from among the believers, and chaste women from among those who were given the scripture before you, when you have given them their due compensation, desiring chastity, not unlawful sexual intercourse, or taking secret lovers. And whoever denies the faith, his work has become worthless, and he in the hereafter will be among the losers. Marriage is more than just a social contract. It is a means to support each other in faith and good deeds. When a Muslim marries someone from outside the faith, particularly outside the people of the book, it can lead to significant challenges in maintaining an Islamic household and raising children with a strong Islamic identity. As followers of Islam, it is our duty to approach such situations with understanding and empathy, while adhering firmly to our faith. It's also a reminder of the importance of seeking knowledge and guidance from authentic Islamic sources when faced with complex issues. We hope this discussion has provided clarity on the matter. Let's keep Khalid, Salama, and everyone involved in our prayers, hoping for the best outcomes for their lives. Remember, it's essential to support one another with kindness and compassion. If you have any thoughts or questions, please leave them in the comments below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to stay updated with more insightful content. Until next time.